Hey guys, what's going on? If you don't remember, my name is John Brady and I am here representing iNet Supply. We are an e-commerce superstore and independent distributor of name brand tech and networking equipment. This is the fourth and final installment of our month long series, Aruba August. If you've been following along our YouTube series over the last couple weeks, then you're probably familiar with my colleague, Ian. Ian was the one in our testing environment to show you the back end through the Aruba web portal. He's an awesome dude. He kept the lights on for us. Now we're back to the main studio. Right behind me is our banner. This is the unboxing desk. We're back to where we began. And even though we're back, we're about to pump the brakes. This is the final installment. We are at the end. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It might just be one of our studio lights blinding me on set. For us to properly wrap up the series, it would be nice to actually take these two products we pulled from our own warehouse and compare them with more of the uh, expensive top of the line options Aruba Instanon has to offer. Now, first we're gonna move the access point out of the way. We need a little bit more room. We're gonna cover the network switch just for a minute. It, it won't take as long as the access points. So this is the JL811A Aruba Instanon networking switch. Now on the front of the network switch, you can find four PoE ports and then four non-PoE ports. Now, if you're a small business and you don't have that many actual devices to, to plug into, this is probably gonna be uh, the right networking switch for you. This is in the same price range as the AP11. And if you just have you know, a single register and a printer and a fax machine, the handful of uh, devices, this is gonna be all you need. You don't need one of these 48 port network switches, all PoE from Aruba, like a JL815A. That's four times the price of this. And I think for a lot of people, for a lot of small businesses, four, four PoEs and four non-PoEs will be more than enough ports. And if you need more, it only goes up from here. This is uh, eight ports, but you could also get 16 port network switches, 24 port, 48 port, all PoE. I think this is a good starting off point for a lot of small businesses out there. And all of that, um, just I wanna make it clear, it's only for uh, physical devices that are plugged into the network switch. If you also wanna have wireless devices connected to the network, then all you need is the handy dandy AP11 from Aruba. Uh, you can have all that attached to this wirelessly and the AP11 is connected directly to the network switch. So you really can have a lot more than eight devices. You can only have eight devices plugged in directly. Now, before we move on to the AP11, let's get the JL811A out of the way. All right, so this is our Aruba Instant on Access Point we've worked on all month long. Now we are gonna pull out the AP15 Access Point. All right, so here it is. This is the Aruba Instant on AP15 Access Point. As you can see, it's like, got twice the girth on it as the AP11. It's it's a lot more, it's heavier, it's heavy duty. And it, it is, it's like that because it has double the transmitters as the AP11. So you're gonna have a stronger internet connection with a much wider net of coverage. And that sounds great, everyone wants more coverage, but you don't want to be paying for your neighbor's internet use. If you're a, a tenant in an office building or you have neighbors nearby, you're a restaurant, you, you might wanna actually look into getting one of these smaller APs that only can cover your workspace. Expect neighbors two houses over and restaurants across the street to be able to connect to your Wi-Fi if they have the password. While I'm trying to convince you if you don't have a huge building, if you're a small company, this is what you'll want. I do have to give the AP15 some props in that. While they both have 2.4 gigahertz connections, the AP15 has a five gigahertz connection that far exceeds the AP11's five gigahertz connection. All right, so now we've gone over what separates the AP11 from the AP15. Let's separate these a bit more and add one more access point to the equation. We're gonna grab the AP22 right here. Now, what makes the AP22 similar to the AP11 is they're both roughly around the same size. The only difference between these two really is that this functioned on Wi-Fi 5 and the AP22 functions on Wi-Fi 6. I say, I say roughly the same size because it is sleeker and it is lighter. Outside of the slight weight difference and this being a little more sleeker, the only real difference to these two besides the price difference is that this one 
functions with Wi-Fi 5 and the AP22 functions with Wi-Fi 6. So we're not gonna get into the nitty gritty of Wi-Fi standards, but I will say, while Wi-Fi 6 is superior in every way, stronger connections, wider nets of coverage, some older devices will not be able to use the internet speeds of the Wi-Fi 6. So you, it might be worth it to just keep on using the Wi-Fi 5 in the meantime. We have excellent Aruba Instant On products in our warehouse. These are two we love showcasing for you guys all month long. The JL811A network switch runs at $180 on our website, very cheap. And the AP11 runs at $90. This entire network setup here runs at $270 on our website. That's a really great price and it's enough, I think, to get you going. Not only that, but you've also seen us unbox them. You've seen us put them through testing environments, plugging them in, and you've also seen Ian show you the back end and how the web portal works. So with all that information, you should be able to determine at this point if these two are gonna be right for you. Uh, check back with us next week. We're gonna have another video out. We won't be necessarily cover, covering a, a line of products. We'll go back to just a laptop, a dock, let us know what you want to see and we'll take care of it. We'll get it unboxed. I can't wait to see you in our studio again next week. Again, I'm John Brady. I'm in our INET Supply studio. Come check out our website, inetsupply.com. Serious deals, superior service.